Mate, hallelujah, somebody. It's been a minute. I was in the prayer mountain looking for the face of God, searching for the face of God. But I am back again this morning to talk about one man from the Bible, one man called Moses. Can I get an amen, somebody? Moses was just a common headman. His job was to head the ship. He was also known to be a stammerer. What do I mean when I say a stammerer? He was somebody who had difficulties in talking. One day, as Moses was heading his ship in the bush, God visited Moses in the bush through the burning bush. God spoke to Moses and said, Moses, I have appointed you. I am appointing you to go to Egypt and release my people from Israel. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. Moses looked at himself. He looked at himself. He looked at himself. And he said, God, I think you have made a mistake. I am well known to be a stammerer. I can't even finish a statement. So how am I going to go and face the crew of the ruthless Pharaoh? How am I going to talk to Pharaoh? How am I going to negotiate to let Pharaoh, Pharaoh release your people from Egypt? But God said, listen, Moses, I am he who made you. I know what I am capable of doing through you. In you, I have seen a great man. Same applies to somebody right now who's listening to my voice. I know you think you are useless. I know you think you cannot do it. I know you think you are unworthy because people see you unworthy. But God is saying, son, God is saying, daughter, you are the chosen one. Can I get an hallelujah, somebody? So, Moses agreed. Moses agreed. Hallelujah, somebody. Moses agreed. And he went to Egypt. And when he went to Egypt, he spoke to Pharaoh. He said, Pharaoh, God told me to let his people go. Pharaoh said, who are you to tell me that God has said? Pharaoh was somebody who was known to be brutal, to be evil, to be cruel. He was one of the most powerful evil men on earth. But God had other plans, hallelujah, somebody. Just like in your life, you've got some certain people who are like pharaohs, who are evil, who think they own you, who think they've got power over your life, who you can't even approach because you are afraid. But God is here to change your story, hallelujah, somebody. So, Remember, when Moses was there with the Pharaoh, he had the stick, hallelujah, somebody. So Moses took his stick and he threw it on the floor and his stick changed to a snake. He was trying to show the power of God. And guess what? The evil man, Pharaoh, also took the same, his own stick and he threw it on the ground. It also turned into a snake. What am I saying? I am saying the devil also knows. The devil also has these tactics. Hallelujah, somebody. The devil can also perform. But what I like about this, listen to me, somebody. I mean, can I go deeper? Can I go deeper, somebody? When the snakes were there on the ground, Moses' snake and Pharaoh's snakes, do you know what happened? Moses' snake swallowed Pharaoh's swallow, snake. Hallelujah, somebody. Powerful indeed. What am I trying to say? When you are facing trials and tribulations, when you are facing difficult times, when the enemy is proving like he has won over your life, God is going to swallow the enemy. God is going to show who is God. We know there are different kinds of God. Everybody is serving a different type of God. But you serve a living God. Who is going to swallow your enemy? Who is going to swallow your enemy? Never mind if the enemy is proving like they are winning. Never mind when they celebrate when you are crying. Never mind when they are causing a lot of pain, inflicting pain and misery in your life. It's about time Moses throws the stick on the ground. The stick is going to turn into a snake. And the snake is going to swallow the devil. Hallelujah, somebody. I'm just here to tell you. When you think you are drowning. When you think you are going down. When they think they have, they have won over your life. 
when they think they have, they have, they have taken over, God is going to send a Moses in your life. You are going to cross over. You are going to cross over. You are going to cross over. Can I hear a cross over somebody? Can I get a cross over? Amen, somebody. God is going to show himself. Never doubt. Never doubt. It doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter how you were brought up. It doesn't matter the suburb you come from. You are going to be the king. You are going to rule. You are going to achieve. You are going to get everything that God has promised you. You are going to get into the promised land. Have a blessed Sunday, somebody. It is well with your soul, somebody. It is well with your soul, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Oh, hallelujah, somebody.